Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Cooler Master V750 SM, the semi-modular 750 watt 80 plus gold certified power supply. This PSU, as far as I've heard so far, should apparently be one of the very best power supplies in the market in terms of price performance ratio. Indeed, the price isn't exactly high with currently just about 110 to 115 US dollars. And for that price you're getting 80 plus gold efficiency, all Japanese capacity capacitors and a long 5 year warranty. In this review, I'll be taking a closer look and we'll see if this PCU is really that good as many people say. The price honestly makes this product a bit suspicious to me, but we'll see. Thanks a lot to Cooler Master for sending me this power supply to review. In the box of course is the power supply itself, nice black flat ribbon cables to attach to the PSU, the power cord, four black PSU screws, and last but not least a description of Cooler Master's semi-modular PSU lineup with the specs. The Cooler Master V750SM offers a single powerful plus 12 volt rail with 62 amps resulting in 744 watts of continuous power at a temperature of about 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. But I know Cooler Master is a bit modest here. 50 degrees shouldn't be too hard to handle for this unit. This PCU is 80 plus gold certified, 90 to 92 percent efficiency at typical loads, which means we should get to see great efficiency here. To cool the internal components, a 120 millimeter fan is used, and as you'd expect, of course, this power supply unit features active PFC. As for the input voltage, it's full range, so 90 to 264 volts. As far as protections are concerned, this V750SM unit comes with OVP, over voltage protection, UVP, under voltage protection, OPP, over power protection, OTP, over temperature protection, SCP, short circuit protection, and OCP over current protection. Now as for the DC output, again 62 amps on a single plus 12 volt rail resulting in 744 watts, 25 amps on the plus 3.3 volt rail and 22 amps on the plus 5 volt rail. Plus 3.3 and 5 volt rails combined result in 120 watts. In terms of aesthetics, there's not really much to say about a PSU, but I always find and have to say something about that. I like the silver frame around the fan grille, and while that is a bit more eye-catchy than on many other PSUs, the design is still kept somewhat minimalistic. What's noticeable right off the bat is the length of this unit. It's a bit shorter with just 140 millimeters, making it a bit more compact, but it still conforms with the ATX form factor. On the rear, lots of ventilation holes, the power input as well as the power switch. As V750SM already tells us, this is a semi-modular PSU, which means the most important cables are already attached to the PSU and can't be taken off, while a part of the cables can be connected to the unit on demand. Here we have the four modular connections, unfortunately no additional PCIe ones. Permanently attached to the PSU is the motherboard 20 plus 4 pin cable, the EPS 12 volt 4 plus 4 pin cable, unfortunately no sign of a second one of this type, and last but not least, two PCIe cables, both with two PCIe 6 plus 2 pin connectors. The cables are nylon braided, but unfortunately not that well, and the ends on the EPS 12 volt and PCIe cables aren't braided at all, which doesn't affect performance, but the clean look of the cable management in the system. Still, that's something that can be corrected with some black duct tape. The cables have a reasonable length to them. As for the modular cables, all of these make use of that flat ribbon design and are completely black. Very nice. We have four of them, one with three Molex connectors, Another one with three Molex connectors, but also with a floppy connector. Thank you Cooler Master for still offering that connector, since certain devices, even sound cards, make use of that one, including mine. Then we have a SATA cable with four connectors and a second one, also with four connectors. Although I personally would like seeing a bit more, we have to keep in mind that's a 750 watt PCU, not a 1000 one or more. These cables are long enough for most cases. Now let's take a look at the insides of this unit. 
This is a platform by Enhance Electronics, which is a good OEM indeed, and that's a quite modern platform. As for capacitors, we only find high quality Japanese capacitors on here from Nippon Chemicon, Rubicon, Unicon, and Senkon, also known as Senyo. The capacitor selection is top notch, something you wouldn't really expect from a $115 unit. No wonder Cooler Master backs this power supply up with a 5 year warranty. The fan used to cool the PCU is the popular, reliable Yate Loon D12BH12, a ball bearing fan, which should last you quite a long time. I've also ran some voltage stability tests to determine the rail performance and I'm very impressed. I didn't expect that to be honest. Many people don't take the 80 plus certification very serious, however, it should be a very important topic besides the component quality in the PSU. To give you a quick demo on how much power you can save, by just using an 80 plus gold certified unit to power your system, I'll compare my Corsair TX850 V2 80 plus bronze PSU, the one I personally was using for a long time now, versus the Cooler Master V750 SM with the 80 plus gold certification. And clearly, I'm consuming less power with the gold certification. In general, not so much on idle, but on load, it's very noticeable, especially in the long run when having the system on many hours every day. This demo also shows us what great efficiency this V750SM is offering, especially on idle. Many other units don't offer that great efficiency on idle. The Cooler Master V750 semi modular power supply truly is the best I've seen so far when considering the price. Cooler Master's choice of components for this V750SM is amazing with its high quality Japanese capacitors and its performance is remarkable. No stability issues whatsoever. Everything runs as stable as stable can get. And that 80 plus gold efficiency is just awesome and does lead to power savings. While this V750SM is more of a mid range product in terms of pricing, it could easily challenge higher end units. No wonder Cooler Master stands behind their product with a long 5 year warranty. Something I didn't like that much however, is the fact that we only get one EPS 12 volt cable and no additional PCIe cables, and that the permanently attached cables on the PSU aren't braided very well. The ends on all these cables except the 20 plus 4 pin cable aren't braided at all. That of course doesn't affect performance, only the aesthetics a little bit, but I'm glad Cooler Master is not hiding stuff from us. Many manufacturers make their power supplies look expensive on the outside, but you better shouldn't take a look on what's inside their PSU. Luckily Cooler Master lays its cards on the table without playing hide and seek with us, the consumers. Long story short, the V750SM is a very solid PSU with great performance and stability, a unit you simply can trust and that at an unbelievable price of just $110 to $115. I can definitely, definitely recommend this Cooler Master V750 semi modular 750 watt power supply. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.